What's up guys and welcome back to Queen of Horror. I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much as I usually post. I've been really struggling to keep up with a lot of things. So for the moment, I'm going to go back to posting once a week, but hopefully we'll be back to normal soon. I have to talk about this terrifying theory with you guys. And this has been a theory for quite a while, but I feel like now it relates to it more than ever. I saw this theory years ago, back when I used to watch Shane Dawson. He reported on this theory where people thought that they were making bunkers in America. Now there's a thing called the Martial Law and, and this is where the government can do whatever they want to their citizens if it's to protect them. So if there's any sort of like natural disaster, they are legally allowed to rip you out of your homes and put you in a bunker for your safety. Now, this creeped me out to begin with. When you think of everything that's been happening now, it's so much creepier. If you haven't seen my video before, I talk in my prediction video about a zombie apocalypse. It's predicted for 2021. So would that be enough to legally allow the government to put us into bunkers? Now, this isn't just a random theory, okay? There is a lot that actually goes into this. Now, how do they create these bunkers? They would need somewhere extremely large. Maybe a Walmart. There were five different Walmart shut down in five different states in America. These were all shut down at the exact same time due to plumbing issues which remained closed for six months each. That is a very long time to shut something down for plumbing issues. None of the staff were really told anything but plumbing issues, and every single one of the staff had to go find a new job because of these plumbing issues. Shortly after they shut the Walmarts down, they began to fence off the Walmarts and bring in police officers. Many people claim to see military helicopters and tanks surrounding the Walmarts. It gets even weirder than this. People who lived around these Walmarts claimed to hear rumbling and booming underneath the ground, like they were creating some sort of bunker. This is an interview from one of the people that lived around the Walmart. I've been living in Blythewood here for the last year now, and I've been hearing booming noises, and that's been kind of frightening me because when I heard a um, one of the videos in the Ohio one saying that they heard booming noises that showed that they were talking about building underground um, places and none of them closed down over plumbing reasons. They all stayed closed and they all ended up turning into some type of secretive things with fences around them. This is an officer that was actually helping stop people enter the Walmart. This is what he had to say about what they were doing. They're actually our thing. Oh, are they really? Yeah, the two guys that you saw were actual contractors. And, man, they're, they're driving the whole thing. It's... Now, it gets even weirder than this. They were really protective over who saw what was going on inside these Walmarts. One of the Walmarts were connected up to a pharmacy which remained open. They had a police officer stand and let people into the pharmacy. Why would you need a police officer to help people enter a pharmacy if all it was was plumbing issues? This girl took her camera into this pharmacy to record what was going on and was told to turn the camera off. First off, there are police cars stationed at every point of entrance, especially where the receiving bay is. All the windows and doors are covered with either black plastic or black tarp. Police woman let us in to an area that they blocked off to the pharmacy. As you, w a police woman, are you hearing this my friends? A police woman let them into an area. Why is there a police woman? What is going on? A lady caught us taking pictures and filming and then two people approached us and they told us stop filming. I don't know about you but this all seems incredibly incredibly weird. What makes this even scarier is that in Australia we have Kmarts. I have never heard any rumbling under the ground or anything like that. I have found out that they actually want to turn our Kmarts into Walmarts and they want to expand and make them bigger. So is 2021 the year for the zombie outbreak and the year that we all get put into bunkers? Many people believe these bunkers will be used to assassinate a lot of people. The reason why people think this is because of the United Nations plan to reduce population. 
they stated they wanted to reduce the population by 50%. Um... Uh, 50%? 50%. Uh, okay. How exactly do they think they're going to do that? Without... I don't know. Maybe in a few hundred years, but this is apparently their goal for 2030. How is that possible in that amount of time? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe. Let me know what else you guys would want from me. I know a few of you asked for some conspiracy theories, so that's why I came on today and talked about this one. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.